Hey everyone. So if you join us on Monday nights, you've been seeing us try this new technique called a Boilermaker. Um, I just learned it from my dad doing a shot in a beer. He used to have his glass of beer and he'd drop his shot down in there and do his shot. So I thought that would be fun with paint. So that's what we're going to try. Um, I'm going to put some white base in here. This is mixed with Floetrol and water. This does not have um, my glue all pouring medium in there. So in the shot glass itself, I'm going to use some of my favorite colors. Uh, Lucas Permanent Violet. Uh, follow that with the purple red from Premier. It's a discontinued color, um, but I do I did order one from Hobby Lobby that's supposed to be very similar, and we will let you know on that one. This is Artist Loft Naples Yellow, and this color blue here is Grumbacher Prussian Blue, but we mix it with the Artist Loft um, Iridescent Medium, so it gives it a um, pearly effect. It's very pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and do those again. So the Lucas Permanent Violet from Jerry's. Uh, Premier Purple Red from AC Moore. Artist Loft Naples Yellow, and this is from Michaels. And Grumbacher Prussian Blue with the Artist Loft Iridescent Medium. Grumbacher can be found at Michael's and at Jerry's and at AC Moore. It's very popular paint, so it's easy to find. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this in here. I think I need a little bit more white. I want to make sure that I have enough paint to cover this. So, All right, we're going to top it off anyways. It's kind of doing a sandwich pour, but it's just doing it an old-fashioned way. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this in. And the white will cover that. Make sure I get that topped off. And we will put the container away. We should have enough paint. But just in case. Um, get some of this white off my hand here. Okay, so we're going to do it just like a flip cup. I sprayed my canvas so it's wet. I always tighten them up. So after you put your uh, painter's tape on the back and also your push pins, you can spray your canvas with water and it tightens them up like a drum. Now on every one that I've done, the shot glass um, tips over when you lift. So be prepared to grab that. Of course, that one didn't. <laughs> Yay. So now, we will go ahead and lift the shot glass. <gasps> My hands are slippery. See, I tipped it over. But that's okay. They're so pretty, too, when you pick them up. But these are my favorite colors, so I thought I'm going to try one so I can show everybody that doesn't watch on Monday night what we talk about when we say Boilermaker. And we have plenty of paint, so we can go ahead and run that off the edges. And you get some neat effects. I love how that comes out like that. So that was fun. You get some really cool cells on the sides too um, because the white is so much thinner than the pouring paint. So the silicone just loves to like blast through that thinner paint and it gives you some great effects. But I do have a lot of little corners, I call them, to touch up.
That's the only bad thing about using a hexagon because you have a lot more edges to watch for. Even pouring over does not um, catch them all. So just want to bring it this way a little bit more. And then I'll take it back. I just want to stretch out some of that color. There, that's better. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe my hand, and we're going to torch that off and see what happens. Now, I did not spray um, WD-40 in any of those to release paint because I didn't want a ton of those little bitty cells, like there's a few there, but that's from the silicone in my paint. And I did want to hit this and get these little cells brought up here because they will grow as the painting sets and they won't look so plain white. But yeah, I really like it, it's cool. Um, Normally I would turn it towards that white edge, but I really like that look there. So that was our Boilermaker. Give it a try. You do have to use um, a heavy glass shot glass, though, for it to fall to the bottom. Um, if you're using plastic, it's not going to go down at all. So keep that in mind if you're going to do these. Use the glass shot glass. So, um, subscribe if you haven't already, click on that bell, get notified when we upload new videos, click like and share, join our Facebook group, The Parage Posse, um, shop with us on Amazon for all your paint pouring supplies, we have everything in there, and shop if you're looking for paintings, we have our Etsy shop open, um, all those links are below, we have a fan mail box if you want to send us gadgets to try. We are more than willing, and Alan is our gadget man. Uh, we will feature those on Monday nights. And Redbubble and Teespring, all the links are below. The Stone Coat Art Coat resin coat is below. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we will see you all on the next one. Bye now.